and uh, today with this video we are going to start our new series of uh, important questions and important topics for various subjects. In this video we will discuss about important topics and important questions for uh, subject called COSM because this was the most demanded subject which was asked in chat and everything for me. So here this uh, video is only for educational purposes and also this doesn't reflect anything coming in the upcoming exam examination this video is for reference purpose only so let's start the videos guys so important topics for semester end uh, so we are covering here r22 regulation and before starting this video if you are not subscribed to our channel please do subscribe and uh, also like this video so that we can make more and more videos and if you want more subjects then please let us know in the comments which subject you want important topics and important questions so let us understand the syllabus first. So we have, uh, this is the current syllabus for R22. Out of these five units, you are going to get the questions as you know. So what are the important things to remember? So what are the tips to pass? So you need to prepare three chapters perfectly. Here, uh, three chapters in the sense, perfectly in the sense, you should be able to write each and every question if given from that chapter, then only you are going to pass. Now, second second important thing is focus on short questions. So, one more questions which you have in part A, those are very important and it will give you four to five marks easily uh, so that you your pass marks becomes from 21 to it will come a little low for 16 or 15 so that you can just uh, attempt in the part B and uh, pass guys. So, this is the important thing to remember. So, so, never leave short questions. If you don't know anything, just attempt those short questions so that it will be easy for you to pass. And now when you are preparing for your examination, which is from 23rd December, so just uh, follow this pattern guys, so it will be easy. So now you are going to prepare with two, five, first uh, prepare for second unit, then fifth unit, then first unit, and then third, uh, sorry for this wrong information, here it is fifth, but prepare third and at last you can prepare fourth because if you see here in the syllabus fourth unit is the lengthiest unit of all this and it will cover the maximum problems from this unit and in the remaining units you have chances of getting uh, theory as well as problem but in fourth unit you'll get majority of the things you'll get is problems only so if you are weak at problems then you can just uh, keep this fourth unit for the last and uh, first prepare in this order you can prepare with two five one three and four okay so now coming from the important topics of unit one so again unit one as the COSM and it is a problematic uh, exam I mean like this will have a lot of problems and the question paper will cover a lot of problematic questions so I would uh, suggest you to first prepare problems on discrete probability distribution, continuous probability distribution. For example, I have given here what would be example of problem we'll getting from unit one is deck of cards problem. For example, there are 52 cards. What would be the property probability of getting three cards or two cards or something like that? Probability of picking a ball from the three different color balls. For example, there is a white, red, and green ball in a in a bo ball. What are the probability of picking a red ball, etc. So another important topic is base rule and uh, in that base rule you have additive rules, conditional, prob conditional probability, independence and the product rule and the problems are important in this unit. So problems are basically important from all the units here but in this unit I have just mentioned you to be ensured that problem is important. Now coming to the important questions. So what are the important questions if asked in the theory these five questions like what is sample space? list the different types of sample space so you can see on the screen that these are the important questions state and true based theorem and uh, in the last slide we have talked about problems right so you can expect a problem like this for example suppose colored balls are distributed in the boxes so you can just read it if you can just uh, make a pause this video and take a screenshot it will be helpful for you so these are the important questions from unit one so i think everything is covered here and the problem multiplication law any uh, probability for n events uh, and probability for a single event so these are these important now coming to important topics for unit 2 so binomial distribution poison distribution Chev uh, chebyshev's theorem and uh, means and variance of uh, random variables problems are must again in the second second unit also problems are compulsory 
now coming to the important questions again so if asked about theory then these will be the theory part will be a poison distribution uh, binomial distribution and uh, random variable so if you can just check with the problems again three example problems which you might get so first uh, first problem it, they are asking about mean variance and standard deviation etc so that is an and then you have probabilities uh, probability problems so this is how it so if you want more important questions you can download exam update app which is on play store uh, to get more important uh, questions on this topic then coming to unit 3 what are the your unit 3 important topics sampling distribution t distribution f distribution application of normal distribution so we'll see in the next slide in the next coming second that how these important questions will be framed and normal approximation to the binomial distribution so maximum uh, there is a chance that you will get a problem in this. so basically if you are comfortable with problems so then this unit this uh, cosm subject will be easy for you and now coming up coming back to us and you can look have a look at the important questions so if asked about theories then you have t distribution sampling distribution area under normal curve so you will you will get this and uh, you can just see the problem for example example problem i given a random size sample size of 100 is taken from in infinite population having mean of 76 variance of 256 so these are the things so you can prepare accordingly so these are the sample problems or sample questions which might come in the exam at the end of this video we'll also see the previous question paper and how it is framed also you can you can check the i button and uh, get the important tips and tricks to pass the r22 exam so i'll keep the video in the i button you can just check okay so now coming to the topics from unit 4 so again here we have the estimation estimation the mean standard error of point estimates statistical hypothesis and two sample tests concerning variant variances so these are the important topics so, so if you if i am being a little fast in this video you can just pause it and take a screenshot of these things and prepare accordingly for your exams so this uh, subject is very important guys and uh, if you get a backlog then it will be really difficult for you to clear it in the upcoming semesters okay so now coming to the important top questions of unit 4 so what would be the unit 4 if theory is given then these are the 1 2 3 4 questions will be given and i have also highlighted the example problem so the random sample of size is even standard deviation is 10 and mean is mean is 60 90 percent of confidence interval for the mean so you can just do this and before and after it is given so you need to arrange these probabilities and things so now coming to the last unit that is the unit 5 so here you have simple thing only markov chain and the markov process you need to understand then this would be uh, i would say that this unit is the easiest unit of all so markov process higher order and lower order first order so this is a, and again i would say, say problems are important problems are mandatory so how if your pro, your paper is for 60 marks and then i think there are chances that 30 marks would be for problem and 30 marks would be for theory so this is how the subject is divided so now we are coming to the important questions so you can see this uh, these are the important questions uh, for in this main you can see uh, marco chain analysis and uh, problems i will give in the next slide if we see the pro i mean like previous question paper we will understand what the uh, would be so this is the previous question paper for COSM. So you can see how one one mark questions are framed. So one mark questions are framed. Just uh, the answer would be in one or two lines. That's it. I mean, like not uh, more. So if you have if you are getting any side headings, then uh, put it black pen and uh, use that. And also uh, look at these short questions. If you can prepare these, I think one or two would definitely come in the. Uh, next coming exam i hope uh, so these are the simple questions you just need to attempt this at least you'll get half mark for this so try to do this for 10 marks and if you are attempting all thing maybe you will get four to five marks that is what i said in the starting of the video so that you know your passing marks goes from 21 i think your passing mark is 21 from 21 if you are getting five marks in the short then part b you need to get 16 only for that you need to attempt three long then that is more than enough that is how i framed with three chapters so if in three chapters you are attempting three long questions then there are high chances that you will pass so now looking at the part b 
So as I gave an example in the first slide about pack of cards. Here also you can see the first question is about pack of cards. And then you have random variable with distribution. Okay. And in second question, you have uh, this random variable distribution and uh, you need to find K, the value of K. And uh, also this is a probability question. These are from the first unit. And also you can just see the from second unit to fifth unit. We have talked about state and true shape B's theorem in our thing. And I also said that Marco analysis is important. And also I mentioned that one problem we'll discuss in the next slide from the fifth unit. If you can see 10th B, so this pro this type of problems you'll get in the fifth unit and also 11th A. So what are a transition diagram for a transition matrix? So these kind of things. So basically a question from Markov, Ma Markov analysis, Shevby's theorem and normal and curve distribution, F distribution. These are compulsory from all the units. If you can see that this is equally distributed between problems and theory. If you can see this here, you have problem for second unit that is 4A. If you can see here 4A and 4B are, uh, uh, what do you call problems and 5B is uh, theory 6 a b are theory 7 a is problem 7 b is problem 8 a is problem again so as i said you know if you are good with problems then this should be easy subject for you you will pass easily so all the best guys if you have any doubts you can just put in the comments and also subscribe to our channel so that we can put more and more videos like this and uh, also share your feedback in the comments i'll take all that and try to improve my videos so thank you guys thank you so much uh,